Hello, good morning, welcome to another vlog. Welcome to week three of Vlogtober. I've got my um, pumpkin crown on because we're going to the pumpkin patch. We're going to the ever so trendy Underwood Family Farms here in LA, I've never been. I'm excited, so let's go to the pumpkin patch. Mama's in a hat. Daddy's not in one. We're going to the zoo. Boo at the zoo. Boo at the zoo. Which we are LA Zoo members. Uh-huh. Because... It's my favorite zoo. Well, I, only, I haven't fact-checked this. this is, who told me? Your dad, that if you pay for a zoo membership, the money goes to the animals instead of the city or something? Or if you're buying a ticket? It sounds like something my dad would say. I don't know how factual that is. There's a Halloween event that doesn't cost any extra. They feed the animals. Oh, I can't wait. Animals. They feed the animals pumpkins on the weekends. We're seeing so something at 11.30 eat. Monkeys. Uh, oh, can't wait. Um, but yeah, I forgot to start the vlog before we left the house. So I'm in a hat. I never feel more like a mom than when I'm in a hat. This, I feel like this is like the second time you've worn a hat as a mom. It's, and it's been at the zoo. But it really does. Well, first of all, it's themed. It's two different, lots of print, whatever. And it really does. So is Milo in his, I can't flip it while filming. is being fed pumpkins in like 20 minutes. We don't know where they are. It's later on in the day, we're back from the zoo now. Let's talk about this, all right? We went to the zoo for one thing and one thing. I mean, we went for boot. To, for, it looked like I had like water dripping down my this shirt. This isn't good lighting. Let's, let's, let's. Oh. How about here? Oh no, you can see how much of a mess it is. How about over here? You yeah, know, it's a no. Just turn it off. Right here is better. We went to the zoo to go to Boo at the Zoo. Boo at the Zoo is like their Halloween celebration type thing. No it's, extra charge. Yeah, not like a separate ticket thing. It's just, hey, they were giving out candy to kids and all the kids were in their uh, costumes. All the kids were in their costumes. And if and when Milo has a costume, we're definitely going back because it was, no, we're going back every it was year. incredible. It was great. We just, we never found. Every weekend, there are two separate feedings to a specific animal where they give them pumpkins. I don't know, hopefully it's more than just one pumpkin. They throw <laughs> pumpkins in for the animals. At 11.30 today was the howler monkeys. At one o'clock was the- Red howler monkeys. Red howler monkeys. At one o'clock was like some type of boar or some type. We weren't gonna be there by then because we were transitioning to one nap. And so we had to be home by 12.30 at the latest for one nap time. So we know we want to make it to the Howler Monkeys by 11.30. <laughs> we were there at 10.15. It's in the back of our head. The whole time we're there, we need to find these monkeys. We spent an hour looking for these monkeys. With another group of people. Like we collected a group of people who were also going all around the zoo trying to find the Howler Monkeys. Like we were in a pack of people. There was at least 40 people around us all trying to find never the Howler them. Monkeys to see them eat a pumpkin at 11.30 and we never saw it. And then Milo tripped and fell down and he was very upset and then we just, we, we forgot it. But even though we didn't see the pumpkin eating, which we are bummed about, 
but it's fine. We have a tripod, why am I holding this? <laughs> Even though we didn't see the monkeys eating the pumpkins, which honestly would have been life-changing. It was still a nice time. It was still a nice time. Um, it's definitely more tolerable during the week when there's not so many crowds, but it was fun to be there during the Halloween hullabaloo. You got so many free full-size candy bars. Yeah, most importantly, they were just handing us handfuls. So much, so much candy. And Milo got to run around and it was super fun, so. I had a lovely morning. Then we came back here. We had our in and out. Milo was taking a nap. He should wake up any second, really. Uh, Bradley and I also took a little couch nap. We were I, watching uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Un a new uh, season of Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix came out. If you were into that show, I didn't know anything about it. We're in the middle of the it. second episode, and I was just like, oh, gotta pause. We took a couch nap. Tell them the story of me asleep. <laughs> I was about to say, I tell you this story. <laughs> I saw Amy was asleep last night. And I'm in bed I next can't. to her. Amy's asleep and oh. <laughs> I'm in bed next to her on my phone and Instagram or something notified me that there's a new season of Unsolved Mysteries and I was like, oh my God, Amy and I were obsessed with that first season, enjoyed the last one. And I leaned over, like, I don't want to wake Amy up, but I'm not going to shake you awake for it, but I just said, Amy, like to see if you're awake and you let out a, huh. <laughs> and I said, there's a new season of Unsolved Mysteries out and you gave me this small, I know. I didn't, I didn't know. He told me again this morning and I was like, what? And he's and like, said, what are you talking I told about? I you last night. <laughs> I did not know. So, took a nap. Amy loves that story. <laughs> I'm not really one to sleep talk, so I just thought it was funny. I'm up now, we're all up. Well, not Milo, he's waking up. I'm going to attempt to make an, oh, I got my candy corn nails done yesterday. I attempted to take some footage for a reel, if that was cute enough. It's up on my Instagram by now. But I'm going to attempt to make an Ina soup recipe, roasted winter vegetable soup. It's basically like butternut squash soup with some other things. So I'm gonna attempt to make that and this random focaccia bread mix we have from Trader Joe's for dinner tonight. So we shall see how it goes. I would like to try my hand at some focaccia art if I have the time. Oh. Yeah, just wait. I also haven't sorted out today's shelf Sunday and it's almost four. And I like to put those up at five, so we need to figure that out. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna start on my bread though because it has to rise for a little bit.
making soup and bread. Hocus Pocus is on, the cozy lights are on. We got on our cheetah print pants today. So I just took the veggies out of the oven, the bread out of the <laughs> oven. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to talk to the vlog. The bread looks incredible. I tried my hand at some bread art, like I said. And I'm just waiting for the veggies to cool a bit. Then I'll add some chicken stock to a pan and those, and then use my immersion blender. And then hopefully we'll have delicious soup. for 15 minutes. My treat, 15 minutes, starting now. As you saw, I forced myself to clean the kitchen. I got a very sleepy pooch. <laughs> but I tidied up the kitchen, it felt nice. I still, like sometimes I work in there for so long and it feels like I didn't do anything, but I did. So it doesn't look perfect, but it looks better. I did most of the dishes. You know when you like do the dishes and then you turn around and there's more and you're like, ugh. <laughs> That's what happened. So I did most of the dishes. We'll finish the rest of those in the morning, but I'm going to reward myself with a beautiful bath on this chilly evening. And then Bradley and I are gonna finish the Unsolved Mysteries episode we were watching. So yeah. <laughs> watching Nightmare Before Christmas and I just put dinner on the table. I made this like chicken lime avocado. I know, I know, okay. Got a hungry baby. Um, chicken lime avocado crock pot soup. So you basically like cook it and then you top it with a bunch of avocado in the end. Milo's having the same thing, just kind of deconstructed so he can eat it. And then I whipped up some quesadillas. So yeah, Bradley's gonna walk through the door any second. Dinner is served. Hello again, friends. It is not Friday, Thursday evening. It's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera, but we just had dinner, put Milo down. I showed you dinner, so okay. But tonight we're cramming in some Halloween fun. Bradley's gonna carve that pumpkin. I'm going to um, make some sugar cookies. I made the dough yesterday. I would share the recipe, but I don't, it's my friend Austin's recipe and I don't know if he wants me to share it, but it's an incredible recipe. Uh, but I just make like a big batch and then Sorry, there's something in my eye. Then I freeze some of it for Christmas and then I use some of it obviously right now. So I'm going to make some sugar cookies. We're gonna watch some Halloween-y things and have a Halloween-y evening. Mm -hmm. 